BC Hydro was given the go-ahead to start groundwork construction on the Site C dam a few weeks ago, but the fight against the project still remains strong. Last week, the Peace Valley Landowner Association sent a second letter to BC Premier Christy Clark and Minister of Energy and Mines Bill Bennett, urging for a halt on Site C construction. There's just so many reasons why this should the brakes should be put on Site C and and. Um, and it's up to the Premier. She has to make the call. In June, the association sent a letter to Minister Bennett asking for a two-year moratorium on Site C construction, but the request was rejected. Now the organization wants to hear from the Premier as to why the government is not allowing an independent regulatory agency to review the issues associated with the project. We need to have BC Utilities Commission oversight and that's where these things would get dealt with in a proper way. Like, you know, under oath, you'd have experts given witness under oath. In their most recent letter, the association commented on statements made by Minister Bennett on how Site C meets the province's energy needs in a responsible matter. Boone says his comments were not justified. Most of his statements in response to our points were superficial, misleading and, and untrue. Even though the government authorized permits for construction to start this month, there are court cases challenging Site C that are still in progress. At this year's Paddle for the Peace, Karen Goodings, Peace River Regional District Director for Electoral Area B, says the district also sent a letter asking for the government to delay construction. We just sent a letter actually again to the Premier to ask her to hold in abeyance any of the construction on the permits that have been granted until those court cases are settled. For now, Boone is waiting on a response from Premier Clark and says people deserve an answer. This is, you know, an $8.8 .8 billion project. Um, I think we deserve a response. Carissa Wilson, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.